everyone, it's James. And Stephanie from thefitrv.com. That's right, and we are here at the very first RVX show. This is the coolest, biggest show in the RV industry. We are here to highlight exciting new products throughout the RV industry. That's right, we are standing in the Winnebago booth, and we are here because we're about to reveal uh, three new models that Winnebago has not shown anywhere else before. We're super excited for that. That's right, well, we are here in Salt Lake City, but you could yeah. be watching from anywhere. So we'd like to hear from you. Sound off in the comments down below. Let us know who's watching, where you're coming in from. Yes, and now after we share these three models, we have a big announcement after that. So make sure oh. you stick around for the end. But to show those three new models, I think we need some help from Russ. Yeah, so let's go find Russ and let's start showing you these models. You ready? Let's go. Come on. All right, so we found Russ Scarfin. He is the product manager at Winnebago. Grand product manager. The grand product manager. Well, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I just promoted in, him. Yeah, in, thank you. I like that. But for the Class B and Class C coaches, correct? Right, yeah, I'm responsible for all of our Sprinter Class Cs. Okay. Made on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis and then all of our Class B motorhomes. Okay. And speaking of Sprinter Class Cs, this is the first one we're going to take a look at here. This is the right, 2020. Yeah, we're, we're really excited about that. I think it'll be a big surprise for, for everyone. Uh, we launched a new Vita and Porto uh, last fall, which was on the, on the Sprinter chassis as well. Uh, it's a different price point clean and, and a little bit uh, not as luxurious as the view of the Navion. Well, what is this behind us? So right, it's this is the brand new view. View, it okay. It's a 2020 view. How many, um, how many years have you been making the view? We've been building them, uh, you know, started in 2005, so this is like year 15. Wow. And okay. every year the view has been the number one selling uh, Class C motorhome on the Sprinter chassis. And we're, we're extremely proud of that. I bet. And we want that to continue. Right. Uh, and the way we do that is make products that obviously people want, want to own and enjoy and and see uh, the country in. So this one, um, we've got a lot of feedback from our owners. It all goes into, into the pot and it comes out and we're really excited about how this one turned out. And I can't wait to show you guys all right. the 2020 view. Let's get going. This year, we, we basically checked all the boxes with all the new safety features from Mercedes. And what are, this what are those? Yeah. So tell us about some of those new safety features. Yeah, so okay, starts with the headlights, the LED okay. headlights. Um, you know, of course, you're gonna have the fog lights. You're gonna have, um, um, Distronic cruise control, which actually it measures the distance between you and the car in front of you and keeps that cruise. Oh, because so it'll always break have the same distance. If, if you get too close. Yeah, it makes it really comfortable to drive, so this is going to be really a lot easier to Wonderful. drive. Um, it has uh, lane active, active lane keeping, so it will actually use the, the braking system to keep you into your lane a little bit. So All if you right. start to swerve out of your lane, it'll warn you and then you know give you a little gentle nudge back into your lane. Um, if you need to stop, uh, in an emergency braking and, and you're not paying attention, it will start the braking for you. So it will uh, basically brakes and it will help you brake if you need to brake, brake push harder. It's, it's, it's got sensors. Uh, you can see the, the camera sensors up there. Yeah. And there's sensors okay. down below that's monitoring, right you on. know, all of that traffic around you. And so that's, the, you know, some of the cool safety features. And this is on, on the brand new Sprinter. Brand new Sprinter right? is just out. This is some of our first first ones, first production. Okay. Uh, we've been waiting, you know, quite a while for this and, and been working on this project for over for over two years at Winnebago. Everybody so, is excited to see yeah, the new Sprinter. Yeah, we'll see more of that when we yeah, get to the inside. Beautiful. So let's start with yeah. the exterior, though. Let's talk okay. about the exterior design. Yeah. I love this W up here. Yeah, that so, is so a neat feature. It's an all new front cap. We love that embossed. Uh, recessed Winnebago W up there that kind of comes around the edge so people will see you going by. That's really neat. Right, got curved on windows on there that, that oh, yeah. looks new teardrop curved windows on both sides which is new for us uh, and they also have you see the opening window there yes. so you can get cross coat ventilation um, nice uh, daylight there. That's important. Yep. Uh, and let's just keep moving around here just the simple things on uh, that we've done. New transition wing walls which are aerodynamic. You see you got that nice shape. And they're made out of something different than fiberglass, correct? Yeah, it's uh, called TPO. It's thermal polyolefin, I think. And, okay. And uh, it's a molded, uh, but it's it's really durable. And, and, and whereas, you know, this is kind of... It's not as rigid, right? It'll, not as rigid, so it should be more forgiving to rock chips and things okay. like that than, okay. than the, the traditional okay. fiberglass. But it gives us this really nice shape. Um, and up here, you know, this is our new super shell that we launched on the uh, Vita and Porto. And uh, basically... Massive insulation, right? Yeah, right. that's that's uh, you know expanding foam between two layers in a special mold. Uh, so it's a multi-part mold to make this beautiful, uh, beautiful one-piece front cap. Uh, but it greatly reduces the number of parts. It's going to provide a lot better thermal insulation throughout the whole cap. Fantastic uh, for hot and cold, so you'll be able to keep your coach uh, controlled better inside. 
uh, and it will reduce the noise and make the whole coach quieter. And we've done a lot of things, both uh, um, to go along with the new chassis to make the coach uh, quieter for that we'll show you. Well, that, that new uh, transition there is going to help if it's a little more aerodynamic. Sure, a little bit more it. aerodynamic, a little bit less wind noise, absolutely. Okay. Yep. So cool. let's go over by the door. I want to okay. show that new, the new door on this. Yeah, Maybe. let's check that out. So what's special about this door and how is it different than last year's model? Right, so this is, this is an all new door for us. Uh, it's, it's a molded door that we're actually purchasing um, from, from Europe. So this door is specially designed. Um, in Europe, it's kind of a big thing to have uh, quiet entry doors. You know, it should be a big thing sure. everywhere, but they do a good job at it. So um, it's, you can see it's got that nice handle. Oh yeah, I it, like that. Open and close, open wide. You look oh, on the inside, yeah. you've got really nice big right. grab handle here. Uh, to lock it, all you do is push in, ah, and it's okay. locked, right? It's so not when just you open locking it up, at a single point, right? You've no, got and you have dual latching points. Oh, I like the blind on there. And you yeah. got this extra storage. So yeah, you can use that as a trash can or to put umbrellas or shoes, whatever. Shoes, maybe? No, yeah, this whatever. Is dog leashes. very European in the design of the door. That's, yeah. We saw that all over Europe when we were yeah. there. Yeah, and uh, it will, it will, this is, you know, our first prototypes coming out here. This will have a gas strut on it uh, that will help hold the door open in the wind. But if you just listen to this thing close. Okay. It's just like a oh, like wow. a car door, yeah. right? It's really nice and solid. So that will be a really nice improvement uh, for reducing wind noise and so on. In the battery area here, this is something we should talk about. Oh. Uh, Vio and Navion owners like to spend a lot of time, you know, not being plugged in, just like right. a Class B owner, but it's just slightly bigger than a Class B. Um, so batteries are important, electrical storage. So standard this year is Group 31 batteries. Two of them. Two of them. It's Last year, up till now, we've always been Group 24 batteries. So it's 210-ish amp hours. Yeah. So yeah. and it's about it's about I think 25 percent or 24 percent more okay. uh, battery power than what you had before. But so that's not fantastic. all, right? There's another. That's not all. So you can now with these batteries, you maybe before where you could go three days, now you'd be able to go four days with these new batteries mm -hmm. off the grid, parked without going anywhere. Uh, the option is for lithium. We have two Ooh. lithium batteries. Oh, nice. And two lithium batteries. So how much is that? Oh, that's same the number same, of amp hours, but you can use all of them. Yes, it's a greater usable it. capacity. Okay. Okay. It instantly doubles your battery capacity. You, 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 you power. All right. You, you don't have to stop at fifty percent. And okay. with an invert, you've got an inverter, right? Absolutely, a two thousand two thousand watt inverter is standard. All right, that'll run a hair dryer. Sure. Pretty much anything. Run the microwave. All right. Okay. So anything about the air conditioner? Yeah, and it will also run the new induction uh, induction cooktop. Oh, Ooh. and I love that new cooktop. We'll cooktop. get to that inside. So let's let's, let's go. Look. Come on, let's, let's go in. Okay, so this is this is the 24D floor plan. It's a it's a floor plan that we are. It's very popular. It's actually the number one selling floor plan for a Class C Sprinter uh, in North America. So what we wanted to do is make it a little bit better. Okay. So uh, all of the all of the new 2020 views and Avians are going to have more storage capacity. All the stuff to make it easier to use for for our owners. But that's a 12 volt fridge. It's 12 volt only, so you, you don't need to run the inverter to run the refrigerator. Good. Okay. Uh, so that because the inverter, you know, just uh, just just running in neutral, it's gonna it's gonna um, use some battery power. So so I'm familiar nice. with this floor plan because I stayed in one of last year's models last summer at GNR yeah. for a week and I loved it. But this, the first thing I noticed when I walked in here is how different the design and the feel is. There's accent lighting, and the white cabinetry is yeah. just so beautiful. I was, I was so gonna beautiful. comment on that. You you've really kind of done like an update. Like I, yeah. I'm noticing the white yeah, and the it's modern all, thing. All new. But you've got you've got the nice walnut accents in here right. that, that With make it not white. so much like you're living in a spaceship. Yeah, yeah, the wall of wood is, is beautiful. Um, again, lots of storage. Put the microwave a convection oven down below here. Um, all of the drawers, uh, that light goes on and off when, obviously when you shut the door, the light goes off. All right, I'm, I'm noticing your hand. This yeah. is cool. This is our new um, hybrid cooktop, which is LP gas, and it's a nice high efficiency LP closed, uh, closed burner uh, for easy cleaning. Nice heavy grill, uh, but then you also have induction to run off the battery. So if you want to run the coach without using LP, you can do that. Uh, certainly when you're when you're plugged in or when you're you know you're, you want to conserve the battery. You're back yeah, to LP. Yeah, when you want to conserve batteries, use use the LP, and that's that's how this will work. Um, all of the all of the views and Avion is going to have huge galleys like this. Lots of countertop space. Big windows, customers love that that part of it. I do love that. And you know, yep. this floor plan, uh, we should show how this bed drops down because I love that feature. Uh, uh, can we can we at least drop the bed? Yeah, let's give it a try, yeah. All right, so let me get out the way. 
<laughs> Don't drop well, it on me. I'm going to have to get out of the way to do oh, it. Oh, you want to do it? Go I mean, ahead. Yeah, I'll it's do just... it. So basically, I'll let you, uh, Vanna, could you do the... the uh, <laughs> oh, the legs. The legs. Oh, the legs, yes. I forgot. Yep. I forgot about that one step. Yeah, so that's new. Uh, it's a change from the old, uh, the current 24D. And then there's a, a switch here by the shower that you just push the switch and down comes the bed. And one of the benefits of, a big benefit of this bed is it's a walk around queen. I love that you can get through here yep. and you can even open the fridge. You can't open it all the way, but you can, you, you know, you can get, a get snack into it. While you snack. Were in bed. snack, yeah. I might be going. <laughs> Not that we would recommend that. No, like an apple. But it could be carrots or uh, yeah, something. Carrots, like yeah. there we go, hummus. Yeah. Um, so this this is a this has got a, a, a gel foam in it, so it's very comfortable. It's got the slats underneath. Okay. What's really cool about this bed is that you leave all of your pillows, and mat, and blankets, and everything on the bed. Push it up, so it's just like like that. And that's a big deal because we don't like very messing with right. puzzle piecing no, beds together no, no or making beds. the bed every right, night. Right. Yep. So just dropping it down. So all right. Very that's cool. Good. So storage behind. You'll look on both sides. You're going to see 110 volt outlets. Oh yeah. USB and USB plugs outlets on both here. sides. So you can keep your phones charging, your iPads, whatever. Really a beautiful bedroom. Yes. And then up just as easy. Yep, we got to get the batteries back charged up. All right. Ba boom. There we go. And then you just simply push this button. Is that it? Okay. Yep. All right. Well, it's That's beautiful, it. and mm -hmm. I I love right this there. one. Yeah. Awesome. A couple things before we, you know run out of time. A couple things I also want to point out. Um, is that, you know, we've done a lot to try to make it just more functional for people. So a couple things that our styling folks and, and uh, planners came up with was, look at this recessed paper towel holder. Oh, so I right remember here. seeing so this. How do you, how do you, yeah, just, okay. Yep. Oh, wow. And Check that's, that that's out. that's behind there. So just open it up and you can see oh, yeah, there where it, it stores is. in there. And a little extra storage up top. Yep. And one of the new things that we've, we're doing on all, all of our compact coaches is we're adding a, a port in the, in the ceiling, which is right here. So if you're going to add any kind of a Wi-Fi booster or Cell booster. cellular booster antennas or even a satellite antenna for TV, you could just you go through there. You pop this cap off. There's a box on the roof to run the wires. If you've through. ever yeah. had to install something on the roof of your RV, that's it's a, a big huge deal. deal. You don't have yeah. to drill a hole in your roof to get it up. There. You've been listening to your customers. On well, that. yes, <laughs> we have. Yeah, we try. Yes. We try. We, yeah. we, sometimes we don't. So you know, you got the beautiful U lounge with storage underneath there. You've got the pop-up extensions for even more seating. Um, all of the overhead cabinets have all the cabinets have positive latches this year, so they don't come open going down the road. Excellent. We've carpeted the inside of these overheads so it keeps things quiet. Okay. Awesome. And they don't slide around. They don't slide around. You know, we really should show the, the cab because oh, yeah. this is the new this Mercedes. Is the new sprinter. Everybody Everything we've done is kind of tied into that new Sprinter chassis. Yeah. Let's take a quick look at it. I just love this new cab. It's, it's much quieter than the current cab. You got a new six-speed transmission, so that's going to be a lot smoother. We're in the nav right now. It's going to start to load up. Look at the buildings actually come up. And you'll be able to just say, you know, just tell it with the, with the artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. uh, just like, uh, you know, um, the Google, hey Google or whatever you're going to say. And you say, hey Mercedes, navigate me to a Chevron. Oh, look at that. It found one. You got power seats. Um, you've got the, 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 the wet wipers, which instead of spraying water up, they, the wipers have the fluid all along the uh, wiper edge. Okay. So driving in, in, the, in wet, wet, or when you want to clean your windows, you can be able to do that a lot Conserves better. Conserves the wipe, wiper fluid. You're not sure. spraying it all over. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, heated power seats, all the luxuries that you would expect in a nice Mercedes car are now in your Mercedes motorhome. It's much less like a work truck up here than like the, the first generation Sprinters. Yeah, yeah. So. and I've driven it and that with that Distronic uh, cruise control, mm -hmm. it just makes it driving a lot less stressful because you're never not worrying about braking and, and going and keeping up with traffic. It's gonna do that for you whenever you get into traffic. So, it you know, and with the blind spot uh, or with the uh, lane keeping assist, um, just some really cool stuff. Okay, so this is on the new Sprinter, but you, this isn't the only vehicle we're introducing that's new on the new Sprinter, No, right? no, no, absolutely not. So uh, this is our new Class C uh, on the Sprinter chassis, but we also have a brand new, very exciting, oh, yeah. probably one of the things that really you guys are going to really love is, is, is the new Bolt. All right, well, let's go see it. Let's take a look. All right, so of the models that we're showing mm -hmm. today, this is our personal favorite. We yep. are so excited for this new Bolt. Yeah, yeah, we are too. This this is uh, a crazy uh, 
amount of experience with our with the success we've had in our in our Travado and in our Era and in our new Rebel, all kind of brought to one to, to, to take advantage of this new chassis and bring out a brand new product on the exciting brand new Mercedes Sprinter chassis. I talked to Chris a little bit about this, and he said he took like all the lessons he's learned from working yeah. on all these other rigs. They've been planned into this thing from the get go. Right. Yeah, and we've done our but done our best that way. So this thing. Yeah, um, has t two floor plans that we're launching it with, uh, uh, a KL and a new one that we're calling the BL. This is the KL here. Uh, it's got some neat features in it, and we'll talk about those when we get around to the back. But uh, as far as the Mercedes side goes, you know, pretty much what we talked about on the, on the new view. Uh, everything in probably just maybe one or two more boxes, but every box that you can imagine is checked on this one from Mercedes. So it has all of the safety features, okay. all of the entertainment features. Um, you know, it has a Wi-Fi hotspot in there. It has the, the phone charger. Wireless. Phone wireless charger. phone charger. You set your phone up there. It also has, which is not available on the, on the, on the cutaway chassis from Mercedes, but on the, on the van, it has blind spot monitoring, which is nice. like the number one thing that came up uh, with, our, with uh, some of our workshops with our owners that they would like to have in their RV. That way, you know, when you're, when you're driving, you've got the additional little light blinking on the mirror mm -hmm. that says, hey, there's somebody in your blind spot. You know, be careful if you're right. trying to change lanes or, or, or something like that. And this is still a six-cylinder dual rear wheel? Yeah, six-cylinder dual rear wheel. It's got the new six-speed transmission, which is a lot smoother. Um, it's, it's available in four-wheel drive as well, yes? It's also going to be available in four-wheel yeah. drive, and I think people are going to like the fact that this has got a lot of ground clearance. It's huge. And I it, crawled under it. This is easily the most room under a Class B that I have ever experienced. Even without four-wheel drive, right. it has a lot of clearance. Already, and now you put four-wheel drive, you're going to get you some got more. even more. So okay. this is kind of going to give people that want a more luxurious Rebel, right? They want to, uh, they want to be going to those uh, national parks and getting off the grid. This will be a great motorhome for those people as well. Well, and let's walk around, let's around. and, yeah, and let's, let's start got. All right, let's checking check it, it out. out. So the running board, that's something that caught my eye right away. Yeah, so this is our new running board. It's wider. It's got the Winnebago it's lit. logos. It's lit underneath. Okay. It's got the places to lash, uh, leash, le tie leashes to. Oh. Uh, it's got the new, if we had the key fob, I could show you that. But this is pretty cool. Check out this, which is going to be really nice. <laughs> Right. That is sweet. If you've ever tried living in a van for a while, you know that constant slamming, slamming of, of the, the van door yes. is a huge deal. That is sweet. So yep. you'll be able to push a button and this will shut quietly? Yeah, you can just shut it just like this. Or you can, I can just touch it and it'll go. There's also a button in here from the inside you can push or you can use your key file. I'm just going to push the button here. All right, let's see. Cause... <laughs> that is awesome. That'll... Oh, robot door for us, Fantastic. Right? So I want this. <laughs> some pretty, pretty high, tech, high technology in here. Yeah, awesome. Like almost a foot under there, it felt like. Yeah, there's a lot of room. So you started talking about the Pure 3. Yeah, so this is a Pure 3 standard. So it's going to be standard. Uh, one of the option. differences between this and the Travato Pure 3s is it's going to have a bigger battery. Okay, so, so the Bolt's having a bigger battery. 33% larger than, than the Travato Pure 3. 33%, wow. right. so wow. Be because Well, one of the things about this is this built on a Mercedes diesel. Yes. And so diesels really with the particulate filter and so on, they really don't like being idled that much because uh -huh. you can clog your particulate filter. Mercedes right. asks us not to put, you know, the kind of the auto start feature on this. So we want to put a bigger battery in there so people have to less overcome. of a need there you go. To, to, to start it. So well, you'll that's have 33% yeah, more. Uh, battery power. So you can go remote longer yeah. that way? Yep. Without awesome. having to worry about right. starting up. Right. Running your air conditioner, yeah. running everything, no problem. And the other thing that I, that I can't show you because it's built into the van, but it's the, you'll notice that when you go inside with the quiet is the insulation. So this is the most insulated van that, that we've done so far. We've oh, taken wow. what we've learned in the Revel and we've even, you know, gone a little bit further with the interior construction. So now we have a double layer insulation system. Nice. So we're using the, the automotive grade uh, sound deadening and thermal insulation that won't, won't mold or mildew or won't yeah. trap moisture. And it's, uh, a, it's a solid foam piece, right? It's like EPS foam. Yeah, solid something. foam, so it, it won't compress compact. over time. Over time and kind Excellent. of break, fall away from that. And that's pressed into there. And then over that, on the inner panels, we have just a solid sheet of that. So that presses up against, so even on like the metal ribs and things in the van, okay. those are also insulated from the inside of the van. So you so, won't have those cold spots. So that is making this a four season coach? Ab yeah, absolutely, four season capable. Wow. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, with the, with the insulation that we have in here, uh, and the Trumacombi, you know, heat system, 
um, yeah, you'll be able to use this in all kinds of uh, temperature conditions. That is so exciting. So right. we're here by the name Bolt. So yep. where'd you come up with that name? Let's hear that story. Oh, well, I love the name because uh, Bolt's got a, a couple of cool meanings. Obviously, you know, it sounds like Bolt, which is electrical Bolt with being having that great big lithium package. Yeah. So you got the electrical side of it. And then this little logo here, you know, showing the, the compass. Uh, and also that looks like the switch for the, the Pure, Volta, 3. Pure 3 oh, system. Oh, right on. So that all fits together. But Bolt is, is, is part of the name Humboldt. And I don't know if you've ever, have you ever seen a, a town or heard of the, an in animal the named County. after Humboldt. Yeah, there, absolutely. There was an explorer back in the 1800s. I just like, was reading a book about it a while ago. And uh, amazing, if, that Alexander von Humboldt. If you're looking for something to read about a magnificent scientist and explorer, yes. uh, you know, he, he really uh, traveled all over the world. And uh, I think people that buy the Bolt are going to want to travel and explore. And uh, that's a, a cool wonderful name. namesake for him. You know, I think I think he has the most animals named after him over any other scientist. <laughs> yeah. have to look, it, look it up, look guys. It up, look I it think up. that's a little You've fun fact. You've been reading, fact. too, apparently. Uh, trivia Nights. Trivia yeah, Nights. Trivia night. yes. yeah, there's going right. to be some questions later. So let's check out the back. <laughs> okay. All right. This is your spare tire, obviously. Full-size spare. But it's got an easy release here. Um, you know, it's a heavy device, so it's a big mechanism, but this this design should help a little bit with that. Um, you're going to recognize this floor plan because it's a little bit like the Travato 59K. It's very much like the Travato K. It's well, been reversed, flipped. flipped on the bathroom. It's been flipped a little bit. You know, you have some differences in the chassis, so um, we've um, accommodated those. We were able to flip the bathroom, so uh, you can see now that we have in this model we have a fixed sink instead of a drop-down sink. Uh, so it's a nice bathroom, full shower. Um, you're going to see you got all your connections from the, that you can use from the outside mm -hmm. here, but this is, is this is something that oh yeah that we learned is people want more more storage in the back to put all of their Fantastic. electrical cords and and sewer and that's really deep and tools etc. Mel would approve and Mel you I think you could put Mel right in there. Could be a litter box mod litter sure. box down there cut sure. a hole here. Sure. And on both sides, you know, we've got we've got the the roll of screens with a magnet catch. Nice. So these are really nice. And one of the things that we learned just in testing this, which really wasn't intended, is that when you, it's a full blackout screen as well. When you, when you close this off, you're putting an air gap between you and the back doors, mm -hmm. which yeah, helps with keeping keep the coach warm inside. So the, the bathroom is a lot warmer in this coach. Speaking of warm, I'm noticing this floor. That's like an inch and a half thick. It's a little bit thicker than what we've seen in the past. And this has got uh, an insulated layer of EPS foam underneath okay. of the plywood. And so, then plywood. So it gives you more of a thermal break and some insulation from the floor. So it's, so it's be, protecting you from that cold body. It of should the be van. a much feel better in the, in the that's cold. That's fantastic because mm -hmm. that's where in vans it tends yeah. to be, uh, lose a lot of heat. Even in our own van. That's the one thing I couldn't address. Right, you know, it's the it floor. The floor. Right, yeah, once yeah got that. great. Put some carpet down or something. Let's take a look inside. All right, let's go. I noticed this table right away coming yeah, in. Yeah, so, so this is, you know, this is a nice table. It will fold up. Uh, you got several connections, but you look here. This is a new exist handle. Right. Uh, and this is made by Ramtrack. So uh, the table is designed so you can put it up and down. You loosen the knob here. You can put it up. You can work. Um, you can even swing it out here. Swing it outside the coach. I can work out here. I can lower it a little right? bit. Lower, lower it. Out here. Lower it down. Raise it up to about this level. I can work on it. You can also move it to the back and use it as a table inside the coach. So it's super. Yep. Does it swing out of the way? Does it pivot or something? Yeah, it actually, you actually release the pivot here. And then you can put it away uh, like okay. that. So that, that mm -hmm. you could swing it against the yeah, door. Yeah, so when you're driving, this sits up behind your driver's seat. doesn't take up a lot of room. Okay. Or you can detach it completely and move it to the other spot exactly. inside the coach. Exactly. All right. So well, the, the galley is pretty similar. To, uh, people that are familiar with our 59K will recognize uh, this. Things have been moved around a little bit. Um, got a new sink, a new faucet, nice new Corian countertop. I like how the induction is far over to yeah. the left, so there's more countertop here to for, work. Yeah, that, yeah. It's a big deal having uh -huh. that. Oh, and I, I'm noticing some ram mounts here. Ram mounts are all over in this coach. So this is actually built into the window treatment. So you can see that um, you've got the ram mount, a little basket that you can adjust. We, we put these two baskets in here, and people can use them and put them where oh, they right. want in Fantastic. the coach. Fantastic. But here's, you know, any number, the, the sky's the limit of what you could put in there. You could make your own connectors. You could use ram mounts, make your own ram mounts. Um, you can see we got a little ram mount iPad holder yes, back there. Yes, yeah, yes, so lots of options yeah, in here. Yeah, but people love to modify these things, and this will make it easy 
to add you know your own little touch to your coaches as well without having to worry about where you're drilling into the coach and so on lots and lots of storage in both of these coaches we worked hard i'm on noticing that. that i love mm -hmm. that there's so many storage options in here and the cabinetry looks a lot like in the travato but it's Same nothing colors. like the yep. travato is it it's it just a new looks design like it. it's a new design um it's a lot more uh it's it's, it's pretty robust and um you know we'll, we'll be seeing this transition in other products as well all right, Going right forward. on. And is there solar standard on this? Yeah, yeah, it comes standard with the, with the 200 watts of solar. 200 watts, yep. wow. And uh, you got the big lithium battery, um, lots of storage everywhere you look. Uh, you know, there's storage even here under the bed. There's some storage compartments that you can, you'll see later. Oh yes. Um, oh, and these beds do somehow come together. The beds come, come together. together right? No more the kind of no more puzzle bed. You just pull it across. I'll get out of the way so you can, you can do that. Grab that. Help me out here. Yeah. Pull it across. You can oh, see. Oh sure. You got the slap bed, and then you can pull the bed across. And, and then you've got the extra yeah, cushions. You pop in the cushions. Yep. Oh, all right. Isn't that cool. That is. I love how easily that the okay. bed slides in all and right. out. Okay, we'll put this back together. <laughs> okay. But there's another floor plan, so we should go look yeah, at the other one, too. Yeah, let's check out the other, the 70B. All right, Russ, we are here in the new 70B yes. floor plan, and this is the one that, that we are just personally over-the-top excited about. So right away, I'm noticing that this dinette seat, this is a dinette, right? Right, yep. But it's way more, in, in the, our Travato, our seat is bolt yeah, upright. Yeah, yep, it's a new design to make it, you know, more ergonomic and more comfortable. And it's you know really great seating position. You also There's a lap belt. Well, it's not a lap. It's three point seat belt, so it's a it's a shoulder harness. Oh. Yep. So you could pull that around and, and over your shoulder shoulder. So it'd be uh, this is you know a lot of people have asked for that, so yeah. we're gonna give a, provide that. Um, but this is a great seat for, for a single person. We also have seat belts in the back, so more people can sit in the back, and you can you can bring six people if you want uh, in this van and have everybody belted in. Um, so if I were going to work, this yeah, is where this, I would work this is from. Work this, is, this is it. And there's no, there's no pole in the middle here no, or anything for me to bump my legs yeah, into. It's a nice, simple design uh, that allows you know, two people that, to, to eat here, play cards or whatever you're going to do. Um, and this slides in and out of, easily out of the way. So yeah. And you still got the same in. table as in the, in the K yes. there, yeah. but then we, now we have two tables. Yep. And this, and this table can also be used back in the back between the two beds. Okay. So and speaking of beds, yeah. I think this actually becomes a bed. Yeah, that makes a nice little child. Let me get this out <clears> here <throat> for you. Child's bed. Let's so, do it. Pretty simple. You just pull the cushions off, but uh oh. Look at there. Before we get into there, I want to point out this. Oh. Little secret storage compartment. Brilliant. So everywhere you look in this van, you're going to find a little surprise storage compartment. Uh, you know, uh, one of our mantras back at, at, at Four City is, on the vans anyway, is when in doubt, carve it out, right? Find, your, find, find every storage place that you can get. So you can see even in here, you got a little place where you could put... Uh, Gloves, keys, go, Yep, yep, and, and just trying to do that. But to get back to the bed, very simple, just pop the cushions off, pop it up, another little storage area in here. But um, this bed just pops down. Oh, wow. Pretty heavy duty. You can see there's some nice metal structure in there, and then this just makes the bed. That now, is far easier than most. Yeah. Some assembly required. And you're gonna you're gonna pull these seats closer together when you do it to kind of you know give you more room and 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 hold Keep the cushions in place. Out. Right. But that's it. Pretty simple. That was incredibly easy to do. Yeah. So we've uh, we've actually and there's no extra cushions, right? I mean no, those are all cushions yeah. you would take anyway. There's nothing extra you have to bring in store. Right. Those are all part of the dinette to begin sure. with. Sure. Pretty simple. I love it. All right. So, anything else up front, or should we uh, head to the back? No, I think that's that's it. I mean, this is our new our new shelf up here that we kind of got this from our Rebel owners. So some of them were doing this mod in, into their coaches. So we thought, heck yeah. Uh, so it's a nice heavy duty metal shelf up here that's got lots and lots of room. Awesome. Well, let's head to the back and see sure. what we got back there. Okay. So back here, we've really kind of provided a huge sleeping area. This makes into one big king bed. Also, you could bring things in from the outside. If you had a paddle board, bicycles, whatever that you want to store, carry with you, you can it bring it in. It gives you a lot of flexibility because you yeah. can either have a huge bed or you can use this as a garage space, really. Right. right. Yeah. So you got a, a little TV there. I know you guys don't watch any TV, but some uh, of... We would use these Ram mounts for our yeah. iPads. I think we would definitely be using yeah. them. Yeah. And it has a, the new sound <laughs> this system. This is cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Bluetooth a JBL a home theater system. So you you can connect that to your phone. It's got really sounds great. 
Uh, and you could take that off of there, off the rab mount if you wanted, and, and use it outside. outside. Sure. You know, awesome. this really does have a ton of storage. When it comes to camper vans, yeah. this, yeah. I don't know. Do you know it's, what the numbers are and how much I you I don't have? know the numbers, but it's, it's got to be the most. Look at how big this one is. Yes. It goes all the way back. It's just one oh, wow. big, huge storage space. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm looking yeah. around at all the cabinetry, and there is so much storage in this yeah. one. You also have storage under the beds. Storage under the beds. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. And these are the kind of the easy put together bed that we showed you in the other floor plan. This just slides across. All right. And then slide the beds yeah, together. Slide the beds across. Yep. Again, no extra cushions to bring. I mean, there are those bolsters which you could use, but right. they're part yep. of the. Yeah, they're part of the whole. And there, and there are seat belts on both sides, so you can fast some people in back here. Um, so the order. bolts are available to order as of now, if people there, are interested? We're just now starting production uh, just starting. in Fort City, so they'll be available at the dealers probably uh, in, you know, what is this, the end of April, May, in that area, you'll start wow. seeing with the dealership. Well, I'm yeah. really excited about the 4x4 option, too. Yep. Well, thank you for giving us the tour of these three awesome coaches, but now we're not done. We still have something else. We have some some news. Winnebago wants to share some news. I've always wanted to say this in a video, but wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot more. I can't wait to show <laughs> yes, you guys what it, we've got coming and has something to do with a Travado. Let's go a take a Travado. look. All right. Okay, Russ, we've been teasing everyone with this big announcement for a while now, so yeah. spill the beans. What have okay. you got for oh, us? Okay, here we go. So we've been waiting for this moment for a long time, and this is uh, the time where we're going to announce a strategic partnership with uh, Winnebago and the National Park Foundation. We are going to support um, and activate our owners to use the national parks and especially the lesser known parks around uh, the United States. It's cool. It's, it's very so cool. Exciting. Yeah, we're, we have so many owners that just love the national parks and now uh, Winnebago and the National Park are going to be together. And I would like to uh, introduce Rob from the National Park Come Foundation. Come on over, Robert. Hi, good to see you, Great to see you, Robert. How are you? Thanks for being here. Great to be here. So I want to know why is this partnership with Winnebago important to the National Park Foundation? Well, you know, the National Park Foundation is the official nonprofit partner of the National Park Service. Okay. And we work with great companies like Winnebago and also private individuals to raise money so that we can connect more people with our national parks, but also work to protect, protect and preserve them That's for wonderful. generations to come. And so we are so thrilled to be joining with Winnebago in this effort here today. It's an exciting partnership. It is. Right. So now, speaking of Winnebago and RVs, what advice do you have for RVers visiting national parks? Well, you know, RVers, just like, just like really anyone else visiting a park, you know, it helps to do a little research first, right? Good. So go to findyourpark.com, ah, you know. Okay. In Kentron 2 Park Game. And just do a little research. There's 420 park units out there. Right. And, uh, and so there really is a park for everyone. Figure out what you like, figure out what works for you, and then get out Great there and advice. go. Okay, awesome. you said there's park for everyone, but what about for you? Do you have any favorite national park memories or stories? You know, it's like asking uh, to pick your favorite child, right? <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, from coast to coast, there's so many great units. Yes. And, uh, and uh, my parents raised me in the national parks, and I remember those memories. We've raised our own daughters in the parks, and so uh, just the whole, the whole scene really is one that's just terrific. Okay, so everyone knows like the famous national parks, like Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, Yosemite, but of the lesser known parks, like which of those lesser known parks would you, would you recommend? Yeah. Well, you know, again, remember, 420 parks. So there's really a park very near almost every American, right? So again, findyourpark.com, but you know, right here, we're in Salt Lake City, mm -hmm. just, you know, less than 100 miles away, Golden Spike National Historic yeah. Site. Oh, yes. It's where we brought the railroads together and joined oh, America. Cool. It's a fabulous site. Not a lot of people get there. It's, yeah. one of the, it's one of the ones I'd highly recommend. Okay. So there's so many activities that you can do at national parks. What are the best activities? You know, I, I should be asking you guys that, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's not, but, uh, but again, you know, from, from just uh, hiking in the great outdoors yeah. to education, heritage, cultural sites. The really wonderful thing about the national park system is its richness and diversity of activity. Yeah. So again, findyourpark.com, check it out, see what works for you, and, uh, and go visit one, or okay. two, or three. Or 420, right. if you've or got the time. Or 420. Wow. <laughs> All right, thanks, Robert. Right. Great, thanks, well, good Robert. to see you guys. Yes. Thanks, Robert, thanks for your time. So, wow. Russ, mm -hmm. How is this partnership with Winnebago, how is that going to like, how are you going to put that into action for Winnebago right. owners? Right, well this is kind of, for me, this is pretty exciting, but you know, for, for Winnebago, for the past 60 years, every person that's bought a Winnebago, it's been like the highlight of their, their 
experience with Winnebago is visiting the national parks. Mm -hmm. So all of our owners are going to have opportunities to interact with Winnebago and with our relationship with the National Park Foundation. There'll be a lot of interesting things happening throughout the year okay. that we're excited about. But more than that, especially, you know, what we like is uh, these little bee vans behind us. And for this, we have the perfect vehicle for visiting the national parks. And the lesser known park, the farther off the grid, the better you're gonna be because this is our brand new, really exciting, limited edition National Park Foundation Travado. Let's take a look. Let's go. Yes. Okay, Russ, so limited edition National Park Foundation Travado. What makes this one special? Yeah, this is it. Uh, you know, it's got all kinds of, of changes that we've made to make, you know, the Travado is already in the national parks on a daily basis. Our owners Absolutely. just love, you know, you guys, mm -hmm. we, we just love to go to the national parks. But so we thought, what can we do to make it just a little bit better oh, yeah. for that getting off the grid? Um, and uh, this is it. So it, it starts with the Pure 3 energy management system, okay. which is standard on the national park. Uh, foundation edition but what we've done is we've upped the battery so it's 33 percent bigger than the pure three 33 percent 33 percent bigger yes in the regular lithium than the regular lithium travato yeah than the pure okay. three uh, that's KLG. awesome i'm noticing i'm noticing some new wheels and suspension Ooh, oh yeah so here. you know we think people are gonna ha gonna have to get over a, a rock here and there so we got new tires okay pretty cool sexy wheels Very uh which of course you, you have to have if you're gonna go well yeah uh, you know yeah. down those gravel roads of course yeah, but we also had the sumo springs which would be standard in this product yeah it looks like rear. it's higher suspension they're going so to give, give you a little bit higher suspension a little bit firmer suspension for those rough roads a little bit more clearance a little bit more clearance which people like yeah. and uh I don't know where we came up with this color here. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be fine if the whole van were that color. Yeah, I the love van, the yellow. Yeah, we had to tone it down a little bit. We are going to the <laughs> national parks, right? So uh, we've got just kind of a, a, an ode to the Fit RV, and, and also we think the yellow really sets off this, this granite colored van. Yeah, it's, it's not overdone. It still gives yeah. it a really rugged, yeah. tough, let's go sure. to nature yeah. look, yeah. but it's not too much. Yeah, they give it like a little hummingbird in the woods. There you go. Ah. There running you board go. looks a little wider. Yeah, it's, it? our, it's our new running board. So it's a big beefy running board. It's got loops on the sides so you know, you can- uh, Cat leash. Up, leash. Cat, leash up your cat there. Don't, don't try leashing your cat <laughs> to a vehicle. It doesn't work. But check out these new graphics. Love them. I love the matte black that's in with the yep. window section. Yep. It gives it also a kind of a tough yep. look. Um, and there's your National Park Foundation logo. Oh, All right. Very that's nice. Part of the package. And then uh, back here, we're calling this, uh, this area back here, we call it birds. From a distance, you know, it looks like a flock of birds, but oh, it just yes. kind of brings in that nice graphic element very of the colors. Very active looking. Yeah, yeah. So this is the vehicle. You'll, you'll of course, be able to get it with the bike rack, the ladders, the roof rack, okay. which is now uh, new and improved with all uh, steel uh, connections where there were plastic ones before for the roof rack. To rugged? It more rugged for getting out, getting off the road. And then we did a few things on the inside to make it a little bit more durable as well. Let's, Let's go, go check it out. Yes. Yeah. So this is the obviously the KL floor plan with the twin beds that makes into a king bed. But we also have this available. You can get the same package on the uh, on the GL, okay. which is the corner bed and the corner bath and the front dinette, which is also very popular. Both of those will be available in the National Park Foundation edition. I noticed the floor mat. That's yeah. different. So that's special for the limited edition. Yeah, that's edition part of this. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's that special woven material that you would get like on a pontoon boat. So. Very nice. So when James comes in out of the sand, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> James never goes into the sand. <laughs> yeah, right. you know, I'll go right into there, and you can take it out and shake it out or, or spray it off. It's really rugged. So that will. Yep. Oh, I just noticed some ram mounts yep, back here. The, That's fantastic. The ram mounts on both sides, so you can attach your GoPro uh, or your your iPad. Whatever. whatever storage your basket. Sure. Anything you want. And sure. speaking of Cups. storage basket, yep. I see another storage mm -hmm. basket yeah, here. Anything keepers are there from Very both sides nice. for putting your phone for charging. All right. Um, you know, uh, this will also have the new, uh, which we're, this is the first product that we'll launch with the new. Uh, oh, yeah. It's got the Bluetooth controls on it. Uh, it's quiet. It's, it's also the quiet, the quiet air conditioner. And you did is, some testing on this air yes, conditioner, absolutely. and it's, it was like eight decibels eight quieter, decibels quieter than, than the, the current air conditioner. So you can run it and carry on a conversation. We have a couple of our owners that did some beta testing for for uh, uh, the RVP product company that makes these uh, air conditioners, and uh, they just love them because they can carry on a conversation. And with this coach, we know you have the lithium battery uh, that is totally silent, so there's no generator. Just a nice quiet hum of your air conditioner, very comfortable. 
So the quiet air conditioner, the quiet battery, no generator, all the better for enjoying the serenity of a less traveled mm -hmm. national yes. park. Yes. So that Perfect. makes this rig better for going into the parks. It's yes. more it's park ideal. friendly. Yep. And if people purchase this, I do believe uh, a donation goes to the yes. National yes. Park yeah, Foundation. Yes, it's part of, it's part of what, what we're doing to, uh, to help fund uh, the National Park Foundation. We're going to be donating the, some of the proceeds from each, each one of these sales. And, uh, you know, that will go into the whole big kitty, going from Winnebago to the National Park Foundation. That is incredible. To, uh, I'm really those excited. Parks. About I'm really excited about that. You know, yeah. we just love those parks and we got to keep them around, keep them uh, clean and... and uh, all 420. All 420 <laughs> of them, yeah. Well, this is a really special partnership because here we've got two iconic stewards of the outdoors, yeah. Winnebago and the National Park Foundation coming together. Yeah. And I am excited to see how this partnership will, will it be implemented. Yeah. So, Russ, this is a pretty cool rig. Uh, what are you doing with it after the show? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's uh, part, of, part of our big surprise today is that <laughs> you guys, James and staff, are going to be taking this coach um, this summer, traveling around the country, give uh, everybody a chance to see this, create some meetup opportunities, and people will be able to follow you online as you travel around. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. Steph has been just like it's like, finally that just out. Her head. <laughs> Shoo! I can talk about it now. <laughs> yes, this is the coach we're going to be. This going to be on loan to us through the summer, and we yeah. can't wait to travel in it. And hopefully, we'll meet up with a lot of people, and they can yep. tour it right. and. And you're check it out. actually taking this down to the our Class B National Rally next yep. week, right? We'll have it in Phoenix, yep. and then travels to be determined from That's there on. Yeah, yes. Cool. So that's it for this uh, RVX reveal from the Winnebago booth. Thanks to everybody for watching. If you have comments, make sure you can, you can leave them down below. And if you want to support the partnership with Winnebago and the National Park Foundation, there's a couple things that they can do. Yes, you can follow Winnebago RVs and Go Parks on Instagram. And you can follow the hashtag Parks Less Traveled or use, share that hashtag Parks Less Traveled. Cool. Or my favorite and our favorite is to visit the national parks yourself. And hopefully yes. you're going to do it in a Winnebago motorhome. And you can find out more about the national parks at the link that's going to be posted down below. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.